Uh, my name is Chuck Smith. I'm with Sioux Falls Fire Rescue in the Fire Prevention Division. Uh, we're here today to talk about fire extinguisher safety and uh, do a hands-on demonstration also. Well, let's start with how a fire extinguisher works. Uh, basically, there's a propellant, some sort of a non-flammable gas that, uh, and this one, which is a dry chem, which will force the powder out of the extinguisher. There's carbon dioxide, which actually just propels the gas out. Anybody understand how an extinguisher puts a fire out? Anybody got an idea? No? <laughs> uh, basically, fire needs three things to burn. It needs heat, fuel, and oxygen. So a fire extinguisher removes one of those three components, thus a fire goes out. So if you don't have one of the three, a fire will not continue to burn. A dry powder extinguisher smothers a fire so oxygen can't get to it, goes out. A dry chemical or a, a, C, a carbon dioxide extinguisher actually pushes oxygen out and displaces it with carbon dioxide so oxygen is not there again so it won't burn. On our side, firefighting, drag those big hoses in, we spray water. That actually cools it, takes the heat away, so that actually cools the temperature down and puts the fire out that way. So just a quick review on how, how they work. Um, basically, I'm guessing most of all your extinguishers you guys have are probably the ABC type extinguishers throughout the building. You don't have any, uh, your computer room doesn't have any special uh, uh, suppression system or anything like that. You guys don't have a large computer area or anything, okay. Um, as far as that goes, different types of, uh, uh, the basic different types, we're talking about A, B, and C. Uh, a stands for ordinary combustibles, paper, wood, cardboard, things like that, that'll burn. Uh, B fires are, are flammable liquids, gasolines, that type of stuff, cooking oils and uh, C is electrical. So uh, any type of uh, hazard that you guys may have in the building, then one of these extinguishers should be able to work uh, on the fire that you may have. Uh, there's a couple of different types of other extinguishers. There's pressurized water. You don't see those as much anymore because those only work on A-type fires, ordinary combustibles, that type of thing. Um, Halon. That type of stuff works for computer equipment. So if you had a large server room, you might have a halon extinguishing system, which will protect the equipment, put the fire out, but it'll still protect your equipment a little bit better. Um, couple, couple acronyms we need to remember. First one is RACE. Any of you guys remember what RACE stands for from training before? Anybody? <laughs> What's that? RACE to the fire. Well, sort of, yeah. So you, were you kind of raising your hand or just adjusting your hair? All right. <laughs> uh, RACE stands for Rescue, Alarm, Contain, and Extinguish. So if you're in your building, maybe you come up into the classroom, you see a fire. Um, our, obviously, rescue is get anybody out who may be in the room. Alarm, have somebody called 911. Contain, use fire extinguisher to try and contain the fire. And then... Uh, E is extinguish, put it out. So uh, the other huge acronym that everybody knows is PASS when we're using these things. Pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. Yep. So if you happen to have a fire, you can grab your fire extinguisher. The biggest thing to remember is in, in the rescue part of it, if you come in, you find the fire, you get people out, you have, hey, call 911, you come back in and you go, you know what, I don't think this is gonna work. Get out, I mean, you don't have to put the fire out in, the, in that instance, just get everybody out of the building and that. Um, it's, it's up to you whether you feel that you, you can safely try and extinguish the fire with the extinguisher you have, or maybe have a couple of extinguishers to try and do it. If not, I mean, that's why we dial 911, the guys in the big red truck show up and, and put the fire out. So, um, but if you do feel that you can, now it's small enough, I got this extinguisher, I think I can do it, you'll come in, Pull the pin, always going to aim at the base of the fire, squeeze the trigger, and then sweep back and forth. Don't shoot it up towards the flames because that won't, remember we're trying to get it down on the base of the fire so we can reduce the oxygen so the fire will go out. If you're shooting it up high, that powder isn't going to be able to cake down on the fire itself and put the fire out. Main thing to remember is always keep 
uh, yourself between the fire and your exit. So always have an exit behind you. So as you're going, you knock the fire down, you're like, all right, that's great. Never turn your back on the fire <laughs> as you're walking out because it could flame up. So always have your exit behind you, spray. Think you got the fire out, just kind of back out. And kind of, then you can kind of keep an eye on it. Like, no, nope, don't think of you maybe hit it again. Kind of slowly back out. So always have your exit to your back where you're able to walk out, be able to back out away from the fire in case you can't get it out and you're like, well, this is done, didn't do any good. You have an escape route, so 